Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today to uh, go over some of the top five helmets of 2024. Well, actually, of all time, but uh, currently, right now on the market, these are the top five helmets that uh, are selling. So we'll jump right into this video. I'll go through each one of them, and we'll talk about them. So, so we, we kind of we get a lot of feedback, or a lot of people that ask us about you know what's more popular, or what's the best one out there, or or what are you seeing sell sold a lot. So number one. Um, on the market right now is the K3034-4, so it's the Lincoln Viking 3350-4 model though, so it's the old analog model, uh, which is surprising, right, because they have the new Dash 5, which is digital, um, but why it's number one, um, it's very popular, it's a great hood, uh, clarity is awesome, weldability with it is awesome, it's light on the head, it fits well. Uh, another thing that we, we found is that they extended it to a five-year warranty. So, wow, you can't beat that. That's the longest warranty in the helmet world right now, and that is still number one hood today and in 2024. It's still number one, the Dash 4 model, which is the analog edition. And like I said, they make a uh, digital edition, so the screen inside is digital, but that's still number one. Uh, awesome hood. I got, I got one in the digital. Great hood. Nice to weld with. So number two on the list is the Miller Classic Black Series, which might surprise some of you people out there that why wouldn't it be a, you know, something fancier or something better or higher dollar, right? Blew my mind too, but the Classic Series is simple, it is easy to use, and for the price point, and you're getting a quality name, and there's a three-year warranty on that, I mean, you cannot, can't go wrong with that. I and mean, if you're just a brand new beginner in your garage, or you're a brand new student out there, for that price point, you're getting a good name, a good brand, a good warranty, and a quality hood for that price. Um, not a bad hood at all. They're again analog, not a digital unit, so analog unit. Number three in the lineup is the Sentinel A60, ESOP A60. Um, so this surprised me as well uh, for being in the top five lineup. Um, we move a lot of these Sentinel A60s. Uh, you know, a lot of the people that we see buy them, they love them. And uh, we've always seen, you know, either people love them or they hate them, right? But we've, we're seeing a lot of people love these hoods. Um, it is a digital interface on the inside for the screen. So it is, it's not bad, you know, and then it's got that bubble outside front end. It looks like a space, space helmet, right? A lot of people say that. Um, they are very nice. They are very clear. And they are, they fit well on your head. Um, but that is number three in our lineup. Number four in our lineup will surprise you as well. So... Digital performance, the Unity hood is number four. So Unity came out, and it is a uh, for the first responders, right, military, um, and we also offer 10% 10, 10 off all for military and first responders. So check that out. We'll link that down below. But this is a very popular hood. Um, Three-year warranty, nothing crazy on it. Clear light, 2.0 2 lens, uh, not the biggest viewing range, not the fanciest hood that Miller makes but is very, very popular, and I do believe because of that graphic. Uh, good warranty, good name, so you can't go wrong with that. And then number five on our list is the Panoramics by Optrel. So the Panoramics, they uh, went to a two plus one warranty, so to get the extra year, you gotta register it, but still basically a three year warranty on the hood. Now if you're familiar with the Panoramics, it is a, uh, it sits back in on your face, real close to your eyes, and uh, your viewing range is huge on this unit. Uh, so you can, I mean, you can see the peripherals on the welding output are amazing. Um, it is very, very clear. So they got clear light technology on these now. Awesome hoods, they got the ISO fit headgear, some of them do, we can link that all down below. Um, Optrel makes a premium product, and that is a premium product there. Um, surprising that that Panoramics is a uh, number five top seller out there in 2024. Uh, but great hoods, and they make a good product. So, so these are the top five for 2024, top five on the market today. Um, now, in my opinion, and I don't usually give my opinion a whole lot, this top five lineup would not have been in my top five lineup for sure. I, I blew my mind when we found out that these were the top five. Um, 3350 was the least surprising, right? That is a nice hood, but I didn't think the analog hood would outsell the digital. I would have put the digital up there first um, because that is a nice hood. But also, in my top five, I would have probably had some 3M G502 in there. So 
I really like that hood. I would have the Crystal 2.0, not the Panoramics up here in the top five, because that is an awesome hood too. And then even on the two Miller hoods in here, I would have, I would have thought you know the Elite or the Infinity would have been out selling these two right here. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't have had these out in the top five, um, just because I didn't didn't think the market was really out there for those units, but. They are moving a lot of them. They are nice hoods. I'm not saying any of them are bad hoods. I'm just saying in my top five, I would have the 3350, the Speed Glass, and then either a Digital Elite or a Digital Infinity, and then a Crystal 2.0. Um, that would have been my top five. But awesome hoods all together on these on this table. So if you've got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.